what's up guys, it's Fatern, playing some Kill Confirmed on Village with the good old fun fashioned M16, and this gun stanks, don't use it, I'm serious, do not use this weapon, it is garbage, it's probably, mm, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with it's the worst assault rifle in the game, and yes, you're seeing me use the FMG9s, um, I'm actually trying to use them to get weapon mastery, don't think that I run around with them 24-7, but I don't. I definitely don't. I like the MP9 silenced uh, by itself actually a lot more because I don't feel like a D-bag. Look at all these guys. I get so excited and I uh, die. And But hey, look at that. Car kill. Woo Anyways, this game was um, to, uh, it was kind of like, not like a video response, but another big commentator, er, yeah, big commentator, his name is I, Pwn Star for Hire, was doing this, or is doing this juggernaut with every gun show. So he was like, go out, use any gun or any gun in the series that he's going through so right now I think he just did the CM 901 and he's like play some kill confirmed and get the juggernaut kill streak so spoiler alert I wouldn't have made this if I didn't get the juggernaut kill streak and that's not that big of a spoiler I guess you guys probably have a lot better things going on that are much more um, spoiler alert uh, worthy but um, yeah the M16 it's just not good the silencer um, helps, I guess, because it'll keep you off the radar, and you still have to you basically use two bursts unless it's from point blank range. And even then, um, sometimes I can't kill people. Like, right there, it would have taken the two bursts. I think it did, or maybe I'm just lagging. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's not that good with rapid fire. It's still not that good. Rapid fire and silencer, it's still a piece of crap. I don't know what Infinity Ward's dealio is. Uh, they made the M16 a boss weapon back in COD 4. Still pretty good in um, Modern Warfare 2 with the uh, Hollow Sight, and then once they reached uh, Black Ops with uh, Treyarch, they made a decent uh, M16, but now it's just it's just garbage. It's like a piece of crap. Um, it feels like I'm shooting like a plastic toy at people. Like honestly, when I'm shooting the gun, it feels like a plastic toy. But um, yeah, that's I really don't know. But uh, um, the main topic we're going to talk about for the rest of this ginormously long commentary is why done people watch my vids and i am serious a bit but not really because you can't really be serious and say serious in the same sentence but um what i'm talking about is i think i put up pretty good quality i think i may be drunk i'm not sure i have other people other commentary other commentators telling me that i should have uh at least you know maybe like five to six hundred thousand more um subscribers you know, not too many more, not like, I mean, I only have like 240 right now, so what's another five to 600,000 um, people watching my videos, but um, I guess my question is, um, what am I doing that's um, interesting to you guys, or interesting for you guys, because um, I don't want, like, I, I've, I've thought about it a lot, and I think that having like a huge channel might be like a little bit much, and I'd don't by any means think that I'm going to get some sort of huge channel, but it's, uh, it seems like it's a lot of work. Uh, to keep up with the questions and stuff because I do like to um, reply to a lot of comments as you've seen. Um, if I get a video with a lot of comments on it, I try to reply to a solid amount of them if I feel that um, they're worthy for like a reply. So um, I can't imagine having a channel with like 10,000 subscribers and having everyone comment on the video. Or not everyone, but say like a thousand people comment. Me writing a thousand comments, whew, that is... Insanity. That's like writing like a, just a giant paper each night, um, responding to these comments, reading them, those sorts of things. So, um, I don't know, but I would like to have more people uh, watching these videos because uh, I just enjoy the interactivity of having a lot of people to talk with. Like, um, I'm really enjoying right or doing these. Uh, which gun is the best gun in its class videos? They're not the most interesting or the best videos ever, but they get like at least like 15 comments on them and I mean it, it's awesome because I get to come on and throw down some comments and see what you guys actually think like that's what I'm looking for and um, I'm just wondering what you guys think I'm doing well what I should continue doing to um, hopefully get more people I'm up to 240 subscribers like I said looking for that 250 that 300 for that possible giveaway I talked about a long long time ago so when that happens looking for something to do i don't even know now because most people would have used um whatever gift card i got for um you know maybe some cod map packs but everyone that i basically know has cod elite now so i don't know if that's really going to be something to do but we'll see when the time comes
but um, let me know if you guys like what just what you guys think in general like is it because I just got a triple kill with my pred missile is that what you like to see do you like my semi sarcastic awkward commentaries do you like it when I rage? I will, you guys love it when I rage. Who am I kidding? When I sit here and just start screaming at the screen, like, what the fuck? You guys love that. So maybe I'll just, I don't know, be like El Presidor and just just do an entire commentary. Like, I'm coming around the corner looking for these, these bitch-ass campers. And, and what the fuck? And if you want me to commentate like that, I can do that. Um, my neighbors may think that I'm going crazy. Uh, but what, what does it matter what they think? I don't, I don't care. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think that I do well and that you want to see me continue to do because that's one thing, um, pro-life tip here, not pro-life as in, like, not abortions, but as in, like, being pro, as in being elite in your life, um, focus on the things you're good at and improve those more than things you're bad at. I'm not saying, like, if you're bad at something, you should just ignore whatever you're bad at. You should... Focus on improving um, the things you're good at and, and not necessarily improving them, but um, focusing in on those things because those are the things you're already good at, so you might as well improve on them because it can actually be kind of difficult to improve on um, the things you're not good at. You may spend more time uh, trying to harness a skill you're not that good at rather than focusing on what you're good at and using that to your advantage. That's, that's, a, big, that's a big thing that I do in my life. Um, I'm pretty good at using my individual skills to read people. So instead of being a per I'm not, but I'm not sociable, but I'm not someone who likes to um, go to a ton of social events all the time. And instead of like, you know, trying to get out there more, I focus on more of like um, harnessing or I don't, I sound like I'm trying to like summon my Dragon Ball Z or Power Ranger powers out here. But I like to focus on the few friends that I have and continue to make those relationships better. And um, using my individualization skills to decide on who... Um, I'm going to be good friends with or someone that I would get along with and hang out with them instead of like just trying to hang out with a ton of people and hope that, you know, one or two of them is cool enough for me to hang out with. Um, which doesn't have to be that cool, but I'd like to say that I'm super cool and I can choose, um, just pick and choose who my friends are, but I'm, I'm really not. I'm not that cool. Um, unless you think I am. But, yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think I should be improving upon or, um, what you guys want to see more of because this is this channel's for you granted it's a it's a creative outlet for me to be able to learn how to edit some crappy videos uh commentate over them and pretend that i'm funny in a video context i'm actually pretty funny in real life like because i make fun of a lot of people um some people ha like um if you know who daniel tosh is you may think he's like an asshole but i'm pretty sure that if not he was a real person but if we met in real life that um, we would be like BFFs, or at least we're very similar. My hand motion gestures, mannerism thingies, um, the way I think are very similar to him, like in crazy similar. My girlfriend, when we watch that show, will look at me at least like once an episode be like, that is so you, and I'm like, I know. I wish I was as cool or as famous or as rich as Daniel Tosh because I'd be able to do all the crazy wild stuff that he does. Um, but so I'm pretty funny, at least I think in real life. I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm not as funny as I thought I was. And if I had a real gun there, I might have been able to get a triple spray with the M16 as like a, a plastic pea shooter. Um, it doesn't even shoot peas; it shoots water. So it's a double fail. It doesn't even shoot peas; it shoots water. And that guy was a man on a freaking mission to use blind eye assassin and stab me in the face. So you can't, you gotta. I guess you gotta respect the hustle, but I don't respect the hustle of a blind eye assassin user. Anyways, the game's wrapping up here. I failed with this long range kill. How did not one of those bullets hit that guy? I don't know. He's blind eye assassin. Must be he has ghosts. Um, ghosts from like the movie Ghost, where he's just um, can't be touched. Everything just goes right through him. I don't know. But the game's wrapping up here. I think I go like 40 and 12 or something. Got the good old druggy knots with the crappy M16 so let me know what you guys want to see what you guys want to see me improve upon and if you think I'm as funny as Daniel Tosh which I'm not in my videos because like I said I'm only funny in real life I don't know I guess that's all I can say it's your boy Fatter and I almost messed up that outro peace